Dang girl, are you oh, the dang, girl. sun? Are you Cause the sun? you're at you are, are the star, star at the center of the solar system. system. You are a nearly perfect you're sphere of hot plasma with internal convective you're motion that generates a magnetic field via a dynamo you're process. Dynamo you are by far the most important dynamo. source of energy for life on Earth. Your diameter is about 1.39 million kilometers, 864,000 miles, or 109 times that of Earth. And your mass is about 330,000 that, times that of the Earth. You account for 99.86 of the total mass of the solar system. Roughly three quarters of your mass consists of hydrogen, and the rest is mostly helium, with much smaller quantities of heavier elements, including oxygen, carbon, neon, and iron. You are a G-type main sequence star, G2b, based on your spectral class. As such, you are informally and not completely accurately referred to as a yellow dwarf. Your light is close to white than yellow, you formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of matter within a region of, of a large molecular cloud. Most of your matter gathered in the center, whereas the rest flattened into an orbiting disk that became the solar system. The, the central mass became so hot and dense that it eventually initiated nuclear fusion at its core. It is thought that almost all stars formed by this process. You currently fuse about 600 million types of hydrogen into helium every second, converting 4 million tons of matter into energy every second as a result. This energy, which can take 10,000 and 170,000 years to escape, dis dis escape its core, is the source of your light and heat. When hydrogen fusion in, in your core has diminished to the point of which the sun is no- I mean, you are no longer in hydrogenic Equilibrium. A quick <laughs> equilibrium. Your core will undergo a marked increase in density and temperature while its outer layers expand, eventually transforming you into a red giant. You, it is calculated that you will become sufficiently large to engulf the current orbits of Mercury and Venus and render Earth uninhabitable, but not for about five billion years. After this, you will shed your outer layers and become the dense type of cooling star known as the White Dwarf, and no longer produce energy by fusion, but still glow and give off heat from your previous fusion. The enormous effect of you on Earth has been recognized since prehistoric times, and you have been regarded by some cultures as a deity. The synodic rotation of Earth and rotation around you are basis of solar calendars, one of which is the predominant calendar in use today.